it G and uh, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. This is the magnified view of the uterus of a female with the history of infertility for the last six years. Six years. Uh, we are seeing this is the longitudinal section of the uterus, and this is the fundus. This is the uh, heterogeneous mass. Measuring approximately 5.2 centimeter into 3.8 centimeter, and <clears throat> this is uh, the fibroid in the in this location. But you see, I'm going to show you the endometrial canal. This is the endometrial canal. This is the endometrial canal. It is clear. And as I now, I keep, you keep an eye in this region, this one, this is the endometrial canal. And if you keep an eye on this, the, and I move the probe anteriorly upwards here. This is the fibroid. This is the endometrial canal. This is the posterior wall of the uterus, and uh, here is the uh, submucosal, submucosal uh, fibroid. This one, heterogeneous appearance, and it shows significant uh, vascularity as well. This is the. Now I place the to show you the degree of vascularity of this mass, which is the fibroid. Here it is. Highly, highly uh, ecogenic. Now, let's see the cervix. This is the cervix and it's normal. Cervical canal is normal. Now as you will now here comes the point to uh, note and that is that as I this is the longitudinal section of the uh, uterus. Now as I move the probe transversely to get the transfer section of the uterus, what I see and I want to share with you is that uh, you see the width is too much, it's wide and I want to give you the both In one view, if I can, let me focus it. Yeah. Now, see the width. Eight point four centimeter. This is too much. Transfer section is not more than five uh, centimeters. This is about eight point five centimeters. Number one. Number two. Now, this is the. Uh, Fibroid that we see, that we are, that we were seeing in a longitudinal section. This is the fibroid. Now, if, now if you see, there are two horns. One, this is the endometrial canal on the left side, and this is the endometrial canal on the right side. And uh, there are two. So it is uh, now there is no indentation at the fundal region. So this is in fact a subseptate uterus, subseptate uterus with the endometrial canal splitting into uh, the right and the left one. And within this groove in the submucosal location, uh, we do see a part of the solid ecogenic, highly ecogenic mass, which is uh, a vascular fibroid. 
Now there is a dif this is now what is the differentiation between the subceptate and the bicornuate uterus? The uh, in the bicornuate uterus you will see an indent like this. Uh, let me show you, draw it for you. The, this area will be like this. You will see an indent here. And, sorry, you saw the indent and this area will be absent. So it will, it will you will see it like coming like here. You, uh, from here it will indent and then it will come back. Now in this case it is smooth and regular with no indentation. When there is no indentation and you see this picture, then this is a sub subtate uterus. And if there is an indent in, in this region, then, then this, that, this will be a bicornuate uterus. Now, again with the two horns of the right and left separated uh, with one cervix as you just saw and uh, one vagina. So this is a anomaly. Let's see his vascularity in transfer section. It's very highly vascular. And here you will see both. This is the endometrial canal on the left side, on the, on the uh, right side. And uh, this is the endometrial canal on the right side. So this is our case of the day, sub uterus with a fibroid in the uh, anterior wall in a sub uterus in submucosal location which is highly vascular. Thank you very much.